Yo, yo, yo. Let me unmute these guys. Yes. Oh, God, there they are. Hello. Oh, look at hey, this. Gone? The minorities are all on time again. Minority? Whoa. Making a Holy streak here. Half a minority. Happy Monday. <laughs> Happy Monday. How are you guys doing? Happy We're all exhausted if you want to. <laughs> oh, no. I'm all tired. Yeah, man. Yeah. I've got my We're all open. <laughs> oh, no. Are you sick, Lou? No. No. <clears throat> no, okay, okay. Just, uh, I think, um, you know, like, uh, like when the room is warm, like my nose gets stuffy and shit. Uh, yeah, that, uh, I don't know, that, that used to happen to me a lot, and then of course I went vegan and it sort of died out. I'm not going my vegan, though. are killing me, though. I suggest <clears throat> you go vegan. It helps with the breathing. <laughs> no, Listen, okay. you don't, if you're not vegan, you're eating meat. What? Yeah, I'm not giving that up. What? You're asking the wrong questions, man. I will never give up on my steak and pork chops and anything. Dylan, like we can't one v one. I would wreck you. Yo, I'm actually kind of salty right now. So, oh, I've been I'm... on a fucking. I've been on a binge lately with um with Modern Warfare. I just went back to it and I fell in love with it all over again. And of course, I'm playing against bots because I just want to play shipment. Um, yeah. And I, what I've been doing is I, I've had a Warzone bug lately too. Like the other night, we played with um. Played with Kenny Simmons and Rick and Mortis, and I think yeah. Rick and Mortis is probably the second best person at that game compared to you, Bacon. I obviously think that you're probably the best out of our Yo Video Games community. Um, and okay. then, then Rick is right behind you because you both have like you're both very strategy heavy people as well as um, as well as gun skills <clears throat> to back it up too. So it's a combination of the two, where most people just fall into either gun skills or strategy. Like me, I'm a strategy guy. Um, but either way, I, I had I actually had a blast playing with um just being playing with Rick again more than almost I was more excited to play with him than Kenny and Simmons honestly because I play with them pretty often. Uh, but anyways, it was a good match. Our first match we got a dub. Oh um, nice! So it was really fun to watch. Um, really fun to play, and. I've been going into Modern Warfare again and fucking with the uh, with the loadouts again, and um, I was like, I want high alert because you guys know I love high alert and it saves my ass a lot of times in Warzone. So yeah. I've been messing with the deagles again and like just before this, like I've been messing with the deagles on shipment, akimbo deagles like all day long, pretty much whenever I had downtime, and I just had an awesome like five kill streak with the deagles without reloading. I killed five of the bots in a row. And I clipped it, or at least I thought I clipped it on the PlayStation save feature. And then when I went to go look for it after the match, it wasn't there. And I was fucking pissed, bro. I was like, what, the ass. I was like what the fuck, man? It was just like, such a dope clip. I literally killed like five bots in a row, like just running through them with the friggin' Akimbo Deagles. And I golded my Deagles last night, too, which, you know, they, they look pretty. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of salty about that. Did he say strategy? Yes, I said strategy. By the way, what's going on tonight, Dylan? Um, so yeah, I'm kind of salty about that. But There's a huge life. glitch in Warzone right now with the fucking... What is it? The uh, Juggernaut suit. What? What is it? What's going on? Like, you can have, like, a, you can, like, glitch in, like, a bunch of... Like, you can have a whole team with Juggernaut suits. Really? That's funny, actually. Yeah. It's funny, but it's like, oh my god, why? <laughs> So imagine being lucky enough to have a juggernaut suit spawn next to you, and you glitch it so that your whole squad has it. One thing I don't understand is even using a juggernaut. I think it's pointless, honestly, because juggernauts move so slow. So yeah, but they can get in vehicles they can drive. Uh, yeah, but then, I mean, you kill one enemy and you go, what, you go driving for another 20 minutes to find another enemy? No, that's like, kind of words on to begin with. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah I guess so, yeah. Yeah, you're right. But like, they're really good for like la uh, like end game stuff because then people try and rush you, but then you just oh shoot I can them imagine I can imagine end speed. zone must be like end end game must be fucking amazing with the suit. Yeah, that movie's pretty good. Yeah, because um, I was playing <laughs> um, what was it Warzone with a a buddy of mine and Ginger's Ginger Wolf uh CT Brendo, uh we were playing Warzone trip uh trios. <laughs> And our third left because he's they're rando, so when they get upset they and then they die, they just quit, right? Mm -hmm. So last end of the circle, it was like last circle, there was three teams. He was last alive. He just 
come back from Gulag before it closed. And there is a juggernaut on the roof of a building with two guys. There's one person by themselves on the bottom and another squad somewhere else off in the distance. <clears throat> he he actually got close to killing the juggernaut before keep dying himself. And it was like the most hilarious fucked up shit I've ever seen. He's like climbing the stairs, running like going on the upside shooting them with the uh r90 with fire bird with fire rounds and everything but then as he's trying to run away he gets sniped in the air by the another team and i'm just like oh buddy you were close because he's the sucks. jug yeah but it was really funny we got seventh place so it was pretty good so while we're on the warzone topic um actually was going to be a main topic for tonight are you guys excited <clears throat> about alcatraz I am, yeah. I am. I'm playing a lot of Warzone again when it comes out. Yeah, man. <laughs> I, I'm I heard it's going to be like a limited time thing, and I don't want it to be. Yeah, it's just like Alcatraz. It, I mean, it was permanent in Black Ops 4 uh, later on, but it started as a not permanent thing. Oh. Well, fill me in. What does that mean? I don't know nothing about Okay. So Alcatraz is a tiny version of the actual big map. It's still a battle royale, but the timers are much shorter. The map is much smaller, and it's just more intense because you see people. The map is dope because half of it is grassland, and the other half is a prison. The, right. actual, the actual Alcatraz prison. So, so you, didn't there. Play, you didn't play Black Ops 4? No. Okay, so in Black Ops 4, that's where, that's where the Alcatraz... Because, you know, Blackout was the... Black Ops 4 was the first COD game to introduce a battle royale, right? Which was called Blackout. Um, and then Blackout was pretty much just like Warzone, but Warzone's a newer version, obviously. But then, yeah. as well as having the regular Blackout map, sort of like the Warzone map, they had the where it was based on Alcatraz, so based off the prison island Alcatraz, um, where you get basically respawns after you get like five respawns after you die, so you could die up to five times. And um, it was a smaller map, so it was just like it was chaos all the time, basically. It was gotcha. it was it was stupid fun. It was like so much fun um, because the, it's always you know how Warzone can be extremely slow. So with, right. with Alcatraz, it was just like constant action, very little downtime and constant action. So it was really fun. And when does that come out? Season one? Yeah, on December sixteenth. So along yeah. with raid. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know. I, I obviously I've seen the map. I've seen the map in pictures. And I don't know if it's enough to make me go back to Cold War again. I mean, are you guys excited for this new map? I mean, what's the big deal with it? It's a cool map. Raid like is it. one of the best Black Ops maps ever made. Which yeah. one? Raid. 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 It's like the sub. It's like a city mall shit. It's so fun. It's it's so. These are one of the most balanced maps in terms of like, it's fun. You can enjoy oh, it the whole way through. Oh, Raid! I ever yeah, remember. Yeah, Raid this Shadow map. Legends. No, Raid. <laughs> yeah, the map. Raid. Yo, Raid was pretty tight. Not gonna lie. But it's all right. I'm I mean, excited because I like the guns. The game is fun. It just doesn't have enough, enough it shit. Doesn't, it just doesn't have the content right now. Just like what uh, Ackman says. Yeah. I got super bored of it so fast, man. That happens. I'm getting Not more used to it. it. The the one I'm thing. I'm more. The one thing that does suck about Cold War is the fact that score streaks are like the last three are the most impossible to get in the entire game, and the fact oh, that yeah, you don't it takes 30, you, get, you gotta get thirty kills without dying. Yeah, you got thirty kill me. thirty kills without dying. The fact that I'm if it's on mother. yeah if 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 the th if the thing if the if the thing's on cooldown, you don't get points towards it either. So it's pointless nope. that you're getting kills. It's so stupid. I hate I it, hate I hate I hate the system. I hate it so much. It's garbage, man. It's, the most it's not garbage. the worst. It's tolerable, but I don't want to tolerate it. Like, I have to fucking... I, I, do I really have to, like, not die? And if I get a UAV, I have to wait um, to almost two minutes to get another UAV. To even start to get the next UAV? It's... it's no. No. That, it's like, that's my thing. That. It's like, why why even bother playing it? it yeah, it's a fun game. Like, I, I love the Type 63, as everyone knows. But... Why even bother playing that game with shitty score streaks, bad graphics, when I could just go back to Modern Warfare and play with the game with better graphics? And, you know, I'm, I'm just so used. The only reason why I would ever choose Cold War over Modern Warfare is because Cold War has the FOV slider, has the field mm -hmm. of view adjustment, on, and the, on the one on PS4 for Modern Warfare doesn't. Um, mm -hmm. And that's like the only reason. I think if Modern Warfare had the FOV slider, it would be pretty much like the perfect game to me. It, like obviously, there are many things people don't like about it, but for me, it would probably be the perfect game. 
I hear that they might be making a, uh, a remaster version of it where they add the FOV slider or some shit. So, I mean, I don't really? know. Yeah. <laughs> if, you if, uh, I heard it somewhere on Next a... Next generation! Um, yeah, <laughs> I heard it somewhere on a YouTube channel, like, what was it, like a week or two ago? About a week ago, yeah, about a week ago. And uh, they're saying they may or may not do it, because if they do it, then it would make sense, because the people who don't want to, you know, get Cold War and kind of want an upgraded version of, you know, uh, Modern Warfare, they can just buy, like, an upgrade kit on console for, like, PS5 or the Xbox, and then get us a, a, uh, a version that has an FOV slider and better graphics. Simple. I, honestly, if... if... Modern Warfare had FOV, I would probably never play Cold War. Cold War? Yeah, yeah, unless something amazing happened with the game, I probably wouldn't go back to it, honestly. To me, the only reason to play Cold War would be to play the single player and the zombies. Multiplayer, I would dabble in, yes, because, you know, Treyarch has a decent multiplayer, but um, and some of the maps they have are pretty fun. But other than that, it's just like, eh. <clears throat> yeah, it's like an, it's a completed out. it's an incomplete complete game I yeah feel like it in, is and maybe in a couple months it'll it'll really start to pick up when season one comes out i bet you it'll be more fleshed out than they're adding score streaks it's just hilarious to me because it's like you really didn't give me all the score streaks when the game came out wait they that didn't really... no they're adding score streaks in season one what other that's ones? So stupid. I, I don't know most likely dogs that's the one we're missing that's dumb extremely I'm actually kind of upset about it. That is super stupid, because fucking Modern Warfare got all the kill streaks right away. We had yeah, every single every, had... every COD, you get them right away, bro. It's every not... COD. The only thing right. that I know that was different with the kill streaks from when it came out to what they are now is the fact that they jumbled around some of them. That's it. They put first VTOL was like six kills, then they put it to seven. Now they're like, you know what? People are getting too often. Let's put it at eight. That's all they did. They just jumbled the ones in the middle of it. Yeah, but you Pretty can still much, get yeah. it. Like it's for me, I get yeah. six kills and I get a UAV in this game. Yeah, that's dumb. <laughs> six kills in Cold War. That's There's if I don't UAV. die, by the way. That's if I don't die. That's if you don't die. Yeah. If you die, it takes ten to twelve kills. Mm-hmm. Because you gotta wait. So you gotta fucking wait. And the points you get at the you get fifty points for the first kill. First four kills. That's stupid. Yeah, Knight, Knight is right though. They wouldn't release uh, updated Modern Warfare so soon. Just when no, 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 they won't. Up, so. They won't do it now. They probably will do it like maybe halfway through the year or something. I don't know. Not even. Maybe next year. Not even. Next COD comes out next year. Why would they do that? Mm -hmm. All I know is, I'm happy that they're integrating all the all the CODs together in one thing. That's nice. What? I know Warzone. Warzone yeah, because Warzone's the de the de facto the de facto now. Because it's so popular. And Dylan said dogs, death machine. What the hell is death machine? Hey, what is that? What the fuck? Death machine is a is a what do you call it? It's, like it's a, a minigun. You get a minigun. Right? Oh, it's a mini minigun. Gun. Oh, okay, okay. Juggernaut? Yeah, oh yeah. That. Death Machine is based literally a pick up a, a pick up a little minigun. That's all it is. It's from uh, Black Ops Three, I think. I think it should be. I I'm I'm really looking forward to Alcatraz though. Black Ops Two. Uh, Yo, uh, same. Hey, Foley, what's going on? Yeah, but I'm really looking forward to Alcatraz because I think I think a lot of the other, especially the other people in the in the community, like the big names, like Max. I mean, Kenny. Kenny and Simmons play play Warzone all the time, honestly. But it'll just to see that Max will be excited about it again, and we get to possibly get into matches with him again. I think that'll be super fun. So <clears throat> looking forward to it. Um, yeah. Oh, they got rid of the submarine on this map. Hey, RMV, what's going on? Uh, Warzone has reached COD mobile levels of attention, so it's not going away anytime soon. Yeah, that's true. Warzone's not going anywhere. No. Give, me a new map. give me give me a big new map. That's all I fucking want. A big new map for what? A big CW? New map. Oh, for Warzone. Yeah. Oh, sick. if they did, yeah. that would be sick. I'm not gonna lie. I I'm sort of I'm sort of under honestly. If you want to be real, if you want to compare the compare the blackout map versus the the Warzone map, 
I actually think I prefer the fucking Blackout map, but I think that's just because I had Frack Tower, and I was a really, really dirty camper back the, in Blackout. The Blackout map is much more interesting, visually appealing-wise, because there's like, in Warzone, the map is basically level, except for the edges. Le and it's there's maybe this yeah. no no yeah in blackout there's hills like constant hills everywhere and yeah. in this game there's like a hill on the highway you got exactly by the by the oh, warehouses that's the it's one hill it. that's in the map and then everything else is outside by fucking uh the the fucking dam then there's the one where where muffin does his strat at and then the one up on the far right that's it there's no hills like yeah it, there's no variety for me like i i rather have the blackout where it's like it's there's an urban house down the hill and then suddenly you you're into like a small town and there's like a bridge to get into the town and once you get out the town there's a lake and you can swim across and across that there's a dam like it's cool and in this one i could tell you exactly what there is there's uh scrapyard pardon me scrapyard then yep. some open area with houses mm -hmm. then the city would you guys like to see i want one thing i think that I think that who who made the Cold War Treyarch? Yeah. Uh, one one thing yeah. I think that Treyarch does really nice is the I think the one thing that made Blackout nicer was the colors. There were because the the map in Warzone is very muted in terms of colors. I think. Yeah. It um, is. And Blackout is very colorful. So I think yeah. I think that's something that they like. I wouldn't want it too colorful, too colorful and cartoonish <laughs> looking like Blackout, but a little bit more color would be nice. I think. Because I think someone who's like blind like me, who has such a hard time spotting enemies and has to use fucking predator vision in order to have a chance, um, I think the a bit more of a colorful um, a map would definitely help. Like, not muted colors. Didn't they also update uh, Blackout's map a little bit too? They added some, some stuff? They had seasons, they had seasons. So whenever, you know, it would be winter, they added snow to the ground. And when it was spring, flowers would come out and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. I wish Warzone kind of did that. Yeah, War I'm surprised that Warzone never did that, honestly. Yeah. Uh, yeah if they did... another 300 gigabyte update for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Oh, you want the... snow? Psh, that's crazy. That's 100 gigs, bitch. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? No, I'm, t I'm telling you, though, I did like the nighttime mode, man. Nighttime mode was pretty cool. Nighttime was fun. Yeah. Um, But honestly, I think they were talking about adding a new map based on... um, What was that other... Uh, made up area. They said uh, Kyrgyzstan or something like that. Sorry, get a sneeze. I have no Pardon. idea. Bless you. Bless you. Yeah, I was like, oh shit, Kyrgyzstan. I would love to have a uh, a desert part, a desert level or something like that. You know, because as you said, Bacon, um, the um, Warzone map is kind of kind of too flat. Not it's not much. super flat and so many yeah. buildings. Too many buildings, yeah. I would like something for more to have like more mountains, more more places to hide behind, and, and less buildings. You know what I mean? Like they they could add like that'd be nice, wouldn't it? I mean, art style wise, I actually don't mind it. Like I, I prefer colorful because my eyes enjoys color. I love color. I do. League of Legends is fun because it's color. But nerd. like I don't know, I, nerd. But huh. it's just, I don't know. It's just something I enjoy. Cause it's just appealing as a human. Grays and shit are just nah. Yeah. Like, who, who the, the color, That's, the I'm color palette in in Warzone is very underwhelming. Uh, Modern Warfare has there. always had a muted uh, color palette. It always has. Modern Warfare was never the oh look at me, I'm the super colorful game of games. It's like no 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 no. Modern Warfare for... 2 was pretty colorful. I mean, okay. but again, yeah. this was like 2012. This was 2012, like... yeah. yeah. But it was still kind of muted compared to like. Uh, uh, Black Ops One, Black Ops One hey, was they a, little were, more, huh? a little more colorful. Modern Warfare Three was very muted. It was green, oh, Modern Warfare... super <laughs> greens. Hey, you like green? Yeah. Well, here you go, Modern Warfare Modern... Green. <laughs> Modern Warfare Three is my favorite COD too, but there was so much green in that game. It was ridiculous. Added Dubai it's... map. Dubai would be a fucking great idea, actually. Wasn't there a Dubai map in Modern Warfare Three or Two? One, I think it was in Three. I think there was a model of oh, Dubai map in Modern Warfare 3. Or do you I, mean like a Battle Royale Dubai map? Because if they did, it would be a... Uh, like, I think a, a Battle Royale Dubai map would be really fucking cool, honestly. Well, Dubai is huge, right? Yeah. 
and like you can see all the rich cut like the rich people cars and all <laughs> fucking what i would like to see if is uh if they made it so that you could uh, interact with the level and destroy certain things with like interactions like battlefield did that'd be pretty fucking dope like, for example, let's just say there's, like, an oil tower, and there's, like, a, a group of people camping the fuck out of it. You could always, yeah, like, then, uh, have uh, that thing blow up, and then he can't stop. Yeah, uh, but then suddenly explosives up. are overpowered. Like, you gotta no, think like, about you it that you don't, you don't plant explosives. Like you, like, you don't just, like, throw explosives everywhere to blow it up. Like, you have to do something specific to blow it up. You know what I mean? So people don't just yeah. perch the top of the tower. I think that like would be pretty cool. Like if there was like yeah. a big barrel underneath that you had to shoot like a whole bunch of, like not make it easy, but if you shot the barrel like a yeah. hundred times or some shit or whatever, then or they have like like blow out part of the building or something. Or have like uh split or be like, hey, if you want to make an advantage for yourself, split your team up and take the risk and um, rush two different areas, access the computer, force the thing to blow up, and then people will be on the route on the top of it, and be like, oh fuck, we can't stay here. We gotta either stay or go. Bro, that's a super fucking good idea. Even for fucking multiplayer, that would be dope. No, no. But then obviously the snipers would get pissed off, and the mm -hmm. people that well, camp I mean, a lot would get pissed. Off. But the if you have it regen, if you have it regen, like say after three minutes, that building rebuilds itself magically somehow and comes back together. I think that would be like maybe. Yeah, but imagine stand. What would you do if somebody's standing? Like, is, is there is there no timer if somebody's standing on the building? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just thinking. I'm not a it's... game designer, but I think it's a pretty, pretty cool idea, honestly. I mean, I've played a lot of. Um... Battlefield games from um, what was it? Uh, Bad Company oh, Two, Bad Battlefield Three, Battlefield Four. They had some pretty cool destructible environments, man. Like you had people camping in these two two story buildings with like when you know those buildings in um, Warzone where they have like the windows on either side. Mm -hmm. So they had houses like that, and then if you had like a tank or a bunch of people with grenade launchers blow off all the support walls. Anybody inside who does not get out within the next three seconds is instantly killed. Like, if they had some destructibility, but not too much, like, just pepper it in, every, like, little in little areas, I think that'd be nice, because that would change up the game of the gameplay a lot, to, uh, prevent people from camping too, too much. Well, if you guys didn't know, Battlefield 3 is free for Prime members. Oh, yeah, it is, and it's a good game. It's a good game to Which try. Which is the best Battlefield? The, it's on preference. It's Battlefield up, 3 and 4 are fun. For what? Yeah, similar to them. Modern Warfare. For someone like me that likes Modern Warfare, what do you think? Nope. Different games. Don't different think of games. it as Modern Warfare. Nope, Completely. There's not. no kill streaks. None of that. You're just having fun. It, I like it more because I feel like an operator, you know? Yo, I gotta blow this building up because they're really covering it. I gotta help. I got like it's so dope. There's healers, there's like scouts. Like it's cool. It's cool. I don't know. Yeah, man. And you know how you were saying, like, oh, I wish I could ping people in multiplayer, right? Like you do in Warzone? Battlefield, you can ping anybody anywhere. Yeah, you get points for it. You get rewarded. For you get rewarded like for that. being a little snitch. So you can, like, <laughs> let's just say you're a sniper. You're out of ammo. You're waiting for for um, ammo from a support guy. So you're just hiding on a hill. You got your little telescope, and you're just marking people. It's like, oh, look, there's a bitch over there. 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 Come on, dude. The That's jets are fun. Like, the vehicles are fun. The guns are fun. The guns. So what's the better game? What's the better series? It Pref does. Preference. Battlefield 3 and 4. It's up three. to you, dude. Yeah, Red Rum saying 3. I 3 is my me. personal favorite. 3 was my three. favorite, too. 4 was... Three, I, I want to know if my PC can run it, because if it can't, I'm fucked. it's free on... Well, look, can I get it on PlayStation as Switch well? Switch Prime? No, no, no. It's, it's uh, just like... It's a Ubisoft app shit. It, What's it called? Uh, you play Origin. It? It's on Origin. No, that's oh. EA's thing. Yeah, it's on Origin. It's EA, yeah. yeah. Well, it's free, that, though. Now that I have it, my new PC, I could probably handle it now. You should be able to play it. It's an older game. You should be able to play it. It's a lot of fun. I don't know if it has controller support, so you may or may not have to learn mouse and keyboard on it. Um, if I have to use mouse and keyboard, I'm definitely not going to play it. I'm not no, you can use a controller. Do that shit all over you again. can on PC? I don't remember. It's been so long. It's been so, so long since I played P uh, Battlefield 3. It's been Maybe a long you can use You can use controller. I, used it on, I played it on Xbox, and I'm pretty yeah, sure Origin that's... has controller support. That is Xbox. There was an Xbox and PlayStation version, yes, but I don't know about the PC version. No, That's you can thing. use controller. You can definitely use controller. Right. They, they get, Battlefield is a console heavy game. Actually, it's a PC heavy game. Not before, not compared to now. Well, compared to now, no, but, but back in the day, it was all about PC.
because it was a PC only game. Was it? Uh, I remember it was, Bad Company 2. Was it Bad Company 2? Bad that Company you... 2 was like... Bad Company 1 and 2 were like the first console versions of uh, Battlefield. And Bad Company 2 is what made a lot of people discover Battlefield. And that was like one of the best Battlefield games, in, in my opinion. I agree as well. That's what got me into Battlefield. Me and my dad. Same. He got it. My first uh, Battlefield... Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. So the, my first battlefield was 2142 because, you know me, I love my future shit, right? So seeing like fucking mechs walk around and blowing shit, blowing up tanks and getting EMP'd and shit was pretty fucking cool. But the gameplay was kind of eh. But then when Bad Company 2 came out, that was just like, oh, Lord, forget it. Fuck that. That was the game. <laughs> that this was a battlefield game. that I'm trying to remember. It has a beach stage and it's like you. Uh... Battlefield 2? No, no. Like it was, I loved it because of the, the plane fighting. I'm not crazy about the planes on Battlefield, but that was the only Battlefield where I did not mind the planes. Like me being in a plane. Was it Omaha? The plane boss. The plane, the plane. Was, was it Omaha Beach? <sighs> the game? I don't know. I don't, dude, I was super young when I played that map, but I enjoyed it to hell. I probably was super bad, but I had fun. There was like a beach and there was like an ocean. There was like a little. Yeah, it, it was like a beach. Thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if there's a beach, the ocean's right. Th I mean, come on, redundant thing. Yeah, I get but it. There was like two cliff faces, like right there. Man, my brain. I'm gonna look it up in a second. But I think it was Omaha Beach because that was 1942. That was the first Battlefield game. So, what do you guys prefer, Battlefield or Call of Duty? Which one is the better? Call series? of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah. So is that even a question, man? Come yeah, on. Yeah, I was gonna you ask. Like, you know, you know the damn answer to that if, one. If, if exactly I had to. Wrong. If I had to choose between a timeline of what like what what Call of Duty game was out be like at that time, like let's just say uh, Battlefield Three and what what was the what was the Call of Duty? Modern for two game? three, Modern for two three, and Black Ooh. Ops One. That's caught Ooh. easily. For that's me, some people some people prefer Battlefield over Call of Duty. Of course, yeah, they so, enjoy the. Hey, so the why realistic. why would I choose COD over Battlefield, and why would I pick Battlefield over COD? So think of it this way. Hey, Battlefield, I mean, Battlefield is more realistic, as in headshots fucking cook you, and COD is more arcadey. So mm -hmm. if you like the arcadey feel of a shooter, you're probably gonna play COD. Yep. Battlefield but has I enjoyed more both. Yeah, like I told you, 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 it's more tactical. You enjoy, you, you're literally like holding down positions. You're holding down flags from like a hill, and somebody's sniping, somebody's using a tank the other person's like healing the team making sure you can even revive like if someone dies and there's a timer you can revive them like mm -hmm. someone's doing something you never feel useless it sounds pretty fun, you might not honestly. be getting thirty thousand kills but hey man sounds pretty fun I might i've try seen it out. a guy i've seen a guy in a high ticket lobby get like almost 200 kills once it was fucking nuts I was like, what the fuck did you do? And he's like, I just did my job. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, I mean, you did, but like, what I the fuck? did my job, sir. And it's not, it, 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 the team doesn't only have to be like one person's a healer. The whole team could be healers. Like, yep. it's it's not limited. You're fun. If, if it's Bro Muffin, it's free. Your computer can handle it. Play it. It's fun. Yo, definitely give it a give shot. It a try, it, I will give it a try. Fun. I will give it a try. Well, the thing is, I'm now expanding. Now that my, my COD fetish, sort of my, well, my Modern Warfare fetish died down a little bit. I, I, I played Final Fantasy VII for the first time again. Oh, what? Right. When, did, when did the game come out? In April? Shit. So it Something only like took that. me, it only took me, what, six, seven months to get the, the feeling to play it? Because the thing is, I've been on sort of a futuristic kick. Like, since I've been watching Westworld, I've been in the mood to watch very futuristic shows. And, of course, Final Fantasy VII set in the future, right? So I was like, bro, this is like, now I have the tingle to play this game. And I had a blast playing it, honestly. I had, I had lots of fun playing it. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to be trying out more games. I always play different games when COD, like during the, the later months of COD. Oh, yeah. You know, the, the chopper gunner in this Cold War game is pretty dope, though, I must say. I like it. If it didn't take me 30 days to get it, I'd agree <laughs> with you, man. <laughs> <laughs> One month later. What, hey, what, yeah, link, I got my ah. what link did you post in the chat, Nettie? What is this? It's a trailer for Battlefield 2142 on how futuristic that shit is. Here, let's 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 use the new screening I created. To uh -oh. Watch it right now. Give me one second and I'll pull it off. Hold on. Wow, I thought you were ready. 
Damn. If you were ready, it would have been much cooler. Oh, um, I do want to show you guys a video. So uh, if you guys can pull up the stream, the three of you, um, and watch it together, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, I got it on. Okay. Wow, this um, game came out in 2007. Oh, my God. Here we go. I'll switch screens. And I feel boom. old as shit. Take hide this. Unhide that. Hide this. Oh, oh TikTok! Oh, yeah, that... Bro, I gotta show you that TikTok. It's hilarious. Like, I, I literally I watch that. it every morning and I, I just cry laughing. It's so funny. Um, okay, mute this. All right, so let's see what Nettie, what this video Nettie gave us is about. Play the Jeopardy song real quick. I'm not gonna lie, hearing that fucking. I can't, I, there's no sound for the video, by the way. We should be able to hear it. No, I don't hear. Oh, maybe that's just me. Oh, never mind. Yeah, it's just me. I'll shut up now. You know what I'm doing. I'm a professional streamer, so. Damn. So, Battlefield 2140. What is this? This is, this is an old game. This is 2007. This is 2007 game. It's um, set in the future, 2142. The world's frozen over, and the. Uh, what is it? The EU and the PAC are fighting each other. So PAC is basically Russia, China, like all that side, and the EU is like America and England and whatever is left from that from the West. And uh, they're literally fighting for whatever's left. And then there's like fucking the PAC have hover tanks. They have like uh, walkers with like little laser beams. The oh, EU have the yeah. The EU have walkers with mini guns and shit. Star Wars shit. That's what I'm saying. That's what I loved so much about it. It's fucking crazy. I wish they had Terminators. Could have like EMP. Look at those fucking barriers and shit. Ragdoll physics work hilarious in this game. It reminds me of Robocop. Remember the break? Yeah, shit, yeah, it does actually. Yeah. <laughs> Those walkers, the EU versions with the miniguns, they reminded me of uh, fucking Mech Warrior. That's one thing I. That's one of the reasons why I played this game so crazy. So the one thing that was unique about this battlefield is they had a mode where you had to capture points that um, launched missiles into your enemy's base and you had to take down their shields. And once their shield was taken out, your entire team had to literally rush the, the Titan and sabotage it from within so it blow up. And that's how you would win. So it wasn't just like, oh, you, 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 gotta, you gotta kill each other. It's like uh, in uh, Ground War, right? It straight, up looks like some, it straight up looks like some Star Wars shit. Like, yeah, it's great. Like real <laughs> Star Wars crap. It's kind of crazy, actually. Yeah. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, but I might try out Battlefield 3. If you guys say that it's uh it's worth a shot and it's free, why why the fuck not, right? Yeah. Three three is more is basically just everyday uh modern tech. It has no futuristic shit, but it's still fun. Alright, yeah, it was a huge craze with modernness because of Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, yep. Everything yep, had to be modern. Because everyone was so bored of playing the same World War Two uh, and World War One stuff all over. And all everybody the time. got bored of modern, so he went to the future. Future, and the future, and then future. See, the difference with the future is that we don't know what the future is, so it's like, all right, jetpacks. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! No one likes jet. All right, let's make, let's try another game with jetpacks. Oh shit! Oh, all right. Let's steal from Titanfall and try and make that a game. No, Wait, and everyone is hates. It, it. Is it there a futuristic COD that came out like Advanced Warfare or some shit? Wow. There's Infinite three warfare. advanced. There's three futuristic Like cars. ones where you could like jump super high and shit. Oh, advanced warfare. That was a game. See, everyone hated it. I, I hated it. The only thing I hate about it. Nah, I lie. There's a lot of shit I hate about that game. The main thing I hate about that game is the RNG. You get a better gun in the box, I'm losing every gunfight. In the box? Yeah, be the I box? could be better. The loot crate. Oh. It was all loot boxes. Like you get a better gun than me, I lose the gunfight. Yeah, it doesn't Infinite matter Warfare how skilled I am. About. Infinite War, that yes. is the one that I'm Infinite about. Warfare was the, no, no, no. The... Infinite Warfare was the one after Advanced Warfare. Yeah, it was uh... the worst. 
Because they were trying no, to copy right. Titanfall, right? They were basically trying to yeah, copy they Titanfall. Yeah, they did. They did. And, they, and you know what? They kind of succeeded because they took uh, they took um, Thunder away from Titanfall 2. And Titanfall 2 is such an infinitely better game. See what you did there? <laughs> Alright, I'll try it out. Let me, let me show you guys this video. Let me show you guys this video because this shit is so... So good. Oh, Muffin, I'm sorry. So I forgot. Good. You know when you play uh, Modern Warfare and, and Ground War, where you can spawn on your teammate? Yep. Uh -huh. That's Battlefield. That's a Battlefield thing. Yeah, it's literally uh... Battlefield. You know, you know how Modern Warfare, it's squads of four, and you can, like, spawn on each other? That's mm -hmm. Battlefield. That's right. that's like a, that's why everybody was saying, oh, this is just Battlefield. Because it's right. the mechanics of Battlefield. Everyone, everyone watching the stream, you three guys watching? I'm using my eyes on Cloud. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna play this video and it's godlike, so enjoy it and chat enjoy it as well. So, <laughs> three, two, one. Excuse me, hello. Was we watching YouTube videos this morning? What? Stop this right now. Oh, look, who you talking about? My my new joint right here. My shorty right here. Y'all see this? Y'all looking at this wow. right now? This nigga never turned me on that bad. You need to shut up. You hear me? That's why you're there. You fucking with her cause he's white, right? How are you gonna say that, yo? When the PS3 and the PS4 was black too. Hey, what about the PlayStation 2? Oh my god. It just god. magically disappeared, right? Who fucking told ya? Don't talk about PlayStation 2! Hey, what about me? <laughs> he still got me holding this one up for years. <laughs> and he still got his memory card still stuck in me. Do you remember the memory? It's a good video. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this is, this is so good. It's so good. You still got his memory card stuck in me. <laughs> Yo, I, I, I die laughing when I saw that. It was so he, good. Um, was he's so funny. Good. He actually had a video um of him um like he went to like a club or something. And he goes, oh no, they invited him to a party and they're like, oh, um, what bottle should I bring? And then. The first bottle is like, you know that new bottle that's out with the little bell on the top that everybody's like showing, uh, taking pictures with? No, I have no idea. Well, it's like some new liquor, right? It's like it has like a little bell on the top. You press it and it makes a little noise. So anyhow, the bottle was like saying, yo, take me, you're going to get all the bitches. And then the next bottle is like a Hennessy bottle saying, yo, how many times did we fucking give Henny dick to all these girls, man? You better take me. <laughs> and then it shows the tequila, the Patron saying, oh, come on, wait. You know, it's just hilarious. He was, it was funny. You look, if you look him up, you can see that video. He's hilarious. yeah. I gotta follow that guy on TikTok. As soon as I saw that, bro, I just started dying because it was, it was, it was so good. It was so good. Oh man. Um. All right. What the fuck were we gonna talk about this week? Um. Hold up. I'll pull it up. Uh, TikTok. There's been video. some drama going on, but we're not gonna talk about that. Well, maybe we might. Maybe we might. We'll, we'll, we'll see mm -hmm. in a minute. We'll see in a minute. I don't, um, I don't know too much on it, which is why I'm not comfortable. Okay, so so we're, we're talking about it, I guess. So what me and Bacon are talking about is the beef. Not the beef. The drama that's going on with um, with Yazzy. So I'm pretty sure most of you guys in the chat know Yazzy TV. Yo, Mr. Nuggy Pound in the building, by the way. What's going on? What's going on, Finn? Um, so there was some stuff going on with Yazzy TV, who's part of our... She's definitely a part of our Yovadian community. She's come through to my stream before and like gifted a bunch of subs before. And to me, she's cool people, of course. Um, but lately, she's been getting like um, some criticism from the, I think, the Aussie Street Fighter scene, the FGC scene. And FGC Lou, just so you know what that means, is the fighting game community. Um, so, yeah, and like, supposedly she's, like, someone baited her on her stream to say some shit. And I think whatever she said came out wrong. The guy clipped it, and then it spread throughout all the Australian community. And immediately she stopped streaming after that. She was like, um, "I'm gonna check myself into a hospital because I'm not doing mentally well right now," and all this stuff. So it's kind of crazy. Um, and obviously, I don't know all the facts, so I don't want to talk on it too much because I don't like talking about stuff I don't know about. Um, but. Obviously, I think Yazzie is a cool homie to us, so I think, and I hope that, you know, everything goes well with her and all that stuff, so, yeah. From what I heard is that she's community, and she used her status to kind of 
make it seem as if she didn't, as if it was the right thing to do because she has status. And I think this is about the Australia FGC, if I'm correct. I'm yeah, not sure. Australia it's... FGC, yeah. Yeah, she's like, because of the people she knows and her influence that she's, you know, all that. But that's what I read. I don't know if it's true. I'm not looking into it. I honestly don't give a shit. Like, yeah, these cool beans. I, uh, I've been in her stream a couple times. I subbed once because she's cool. And then, like, I don't know. But, like, allegations pop up. And some people just... I don't yeah, know, just, that's a, that's a... It, 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 the same thing I tell people... The same thing people tell me, like, when it comes to work and shit. Don't let your ego get to you don't don't put your ego above everything because your ego will ruin things well that, it's that not is... that and i don't want to i don't want to i don't want to say she did or said anything wrong again because i don't know exactly um but but i will say this when you guys start putting yourself in a public space and this goes for anyone in the chat and it goes for of course any four of us once you start putting your face out there and your thoughts out there into the world and you start to grow, and I said this before, the bigger and bigger you grow, the more and more assholes and idiots you're going to have to deal with. And that's just nature. That's just nature. People are going to hate you for no reason at all just because they may not like your voice. They may not like the way you look. They, may not like, they might not like one thing you said in the past 30 years ago. And they're going to come at you for that and try to fuck you up and bring you down. So, for anybody out there that is wishing for clout, wishing for fame, or wishing for anything like that, or you put yourself in, if anybody even streams, even if you're a, st a small streamer, um, you're going to deal with that shit. You're going to deal with it, and you're going to have to, um, you're going to have to adapt to it, honestly. Um, so, I'm telling you right now, you need to grow a thick skin very quickly. Um, I'm sort of, like, uh, and I see that's one thing that has worn Max down over the years, is that when people criticize him for just doing what he loves, I can actually physically see it in his face when he reacts to it. And it takes a toll. And I think it takes a toll. Like, I'm a strong person. I think it would take a toll on me because obviously I would think that, you know, what I'm saying is what I believe and what I'm saying is right in my mind. But people will just always take words out of your mouth and just, just fuck it up, basically, and just try to bring you down. So be prepared for it. And that's a word of advice to everybody, honestly. Yeah. But yeah, I wish Yazzie all the best. Um, and I hope she does come back eventually. Or she just does what's best for her. You know, obviously, if she doesn't want to come back and she feels that's the best thing for her, then by all means, I wish her luck in whatever path she chooses. So, yeah. Let's see. Up to transition. Muffin, you weren't here because you were uh, busy being responsible and starting your stream. Uh, are you excited about Cyberpunk? We were, we were talking about it earlier before you joined. Not really. Not really. I think, I think again, I think that's one of those games that, I don't know, maybe maybe I am. I'm, I'm sort of, I, I'm, I don't really care about it, but I do care about it. I'm sort of in the middle. Because now that I'm, uh, I'm sort of getting into the whole futuristic thing, and that's sort of my kick right now, maybe I might like it, but maybe it might be one of those, game, those games I just want to watch someone else play. This is what I, I told Lou play. and... Uh... And Nettie is that I'm excited to watch other people play it. Yeah. I myself am not too excited about it. Like we'll Demon see. Souls is one of those games where I know I personally could never play myself because I would get lost and shut it off in five minutes. But I would I was waiting for Max to play because I wanted I wanted to watch Max play it. Um or someone else play it, you know. So it's it might be one of those games to me. It might be one of those games to me. And I don't know what the, what is the story of Cyberpunk? Like what is the main what oh, is the main story of it? Counter Reeves <clears throat> kisses you and makes you a, a robot. No, I have no <laughs> idea. Lou, do you have a better idea about it? I have no idea. Nettie, you're, you're you're the one, you're the expert. Cyberpunk is basically mostly geared towards to be an experience in a city set in the distant future where you can be all like, "Hey, I want to have giant robot arms or that has fucking ninja blades inside of my wrists or a giant cannon. And I just want to fuck people up for no fucking reason and, you know, do some cool shit. It's it, um, a lot of people are like that aren't into like open world games and they uh, and they see cyberpunk. They're like, oh, it's just GTA, but in the future. And it's like, no, 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 no. That's 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 not what it's about. You're not going to just like go running around stealing people's cars and keeping those cars. You actually have to physically go out there and buy your car. 
in this game. Like, you, if you steal it, it's just gonna disappear and it's gonna go back to the original owner. You can, you can deck out your character in some sweet ass fucking clothes. You can pick up, like, uh, you can set your character to be some unga bunga motherfucker and pick up, like, literally go to a turret, pull out the heavy ass uh, gun out of the turret and then blow people down with it. Lou, let me let me sell it to Muffin. Muffin, you can choose your penis. Yeah, you can you can customize your dick. I can choose oh. my dick. You yeah, can customize your dick. Right, I'm dick. buying this game right now. Can I pre-order this shit right now? Look at that, Lou. Yeah, look at that, Lou. Can but I pre-order? Gonna... Delete that whole essay because you got an F. Yep. So yeah, uh, it, this game you can pre you can customize your dick and customize your nipples. You can <laughs> customize your vagina. Yo, Rodimus, Jack, Jack, Slime World. What's going on, guys? Um. So yeah. So what was I gonna say? I'm gonna yeah, stream I... it Wednesday. You're gonna okay. So you're gonna stream it Wednesday. Yep. All right, so I'm going to stream the exact same time as you. No, I probably will, honestly, though. Um, but if you <laughs> stream it on Wednesday, I'll probably... If you stream before I do, then I'll probably hop in your stream and check it out. And then then at that point, if I see you having a good time, maybe I'll watch two or three streams of people playing it, and then I'll make a decision as to whether I buy it or not. Because I don't be want it to be another Mortal Kombat X, Mortal Kombat 11, I mean, or another Avengers where I shelled out 60 bucks and I never played it. Like, I fucking yeah. hate that shit, man. <laughs> It's watch, uh, it's gonna be like a, I'm worried about. it's gonna be like a three-hour custom character creator muffin. That's all I'm gonna that, say. That that no, then I'm gonna fucking skip that shit. Whenever Max does that, like two hours in the character custom creator, I'm just like, oh god. <laughs> like yeah, I'm but, I'm one of those trolls in the chat that obviously can't say anything because I'm a moderator, and I'd be like, come on, Max, play the fucking game. Like stop doing this customized character bullshit. <laughs> but, but 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 muffin, we can have you can make a food warrior. I don't want to be a Fudo warrior. I just want to be brown I and am. bald. Oh, okay, fine. I'll, I'll my first my first stream. I'll make a brown bald jacked man. Okay, just I, for you. Uh, Cobra Shocker. I think I think I honestly think Cyberpunk is also overhyped. Honestly, and I think that's setting the, like I I read something on Twitter today saying that IGN or some fucking video game review site gave like a seven out of ten only, and I think that's basically due to all the fucking overhyping it's gotten. You know? Well, do you know why well, it's overhyped? No. Oh, sorry. Go well, ahead. Keanu's a it's, big part of it, obviously. No, it's overhyped. Well, that too. But CD Projekt Red has a fantastic track history. Yes. Every they game they have ever come out with is game of the year. Yep. Witcher Did 2, you know that? Witcher 3, Cyberpunk, maybe. Probably. Every game they've ever released is game of the year, Muffin. So a company like that has quite the reputation. Also, the, a lot of the reviews are uh, based on pre-patch. It's not, it's not the. There's no update, so a lot of people got their copies that reviewed it. They got their copies before the up the the patch was supposed to come out because you know that whole 21 day um, um, extension that they did Bob? the delay the delay the 21 day delay that that made them delay it till till now. It, that patch has not gone through yet. So once that patch goes through but via Wednesday, that is when people's at, uh, people have to redo their reviews because they're, what they're playing is a unfixed version of the game that was not ready yet. Did you guys see that? I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Muffin, before I switch the topic. Speak, well, speaking of, I was going to say you guys mentioned Game of the Year, um, and we have the Video Games Award this Thursday. Ah, I was so, just going to go into that. Yeah, yeah. Was yeah, great, I was just going to say. Great minds to alike, right? So, I, I think, um, so, what do you, first of all, did you guys already vote for the games, or what? I'm a bitch, and I don't vote. Nah, I haven't. I, I'm joking. I did vote. I, guys, I voted. Don't, it's a joke. It's a joke. I already voted, yeah. I yeah, voted I, I committed, I, I committed voter fraud live on my stream, because I never played any of those games, yet I voted for them all. Listen, listen, um, listen. The Last of, two, the last of Us 2 is winning, and... I know. I know. I get it. It's probably had the biggest audience in terms of abundance of players because well, everybody well, played fuck it. What, F fuck what you, what, what you think is going to win. What, do you, what game do you, what game do you oh, think should win? So FF7 is my game of the year. Sure. What, what, what are the five games of the year, chat? Which five are they? Fuck. Fuck. It's FF7. FF7 uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima. Last of Hades. Us. The yep. Last of Us. Last of Us, yep. Uh, and does anything else matter? There was another H game, Hades, but I don't remember. Right? Hades was oh, one of Doom them. Eternal, Doom Eternal. And Doom, okay. Yeah. I don't know. Listen, my game know. of the year is definitely FF7. My 
underrated game of the year is Hades. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. I watched Simmons play it. I watched Six the Tactics play it. And I, maybe it's just a game I need to play and not just watch in order to feel how fun it is. But, like, what's the big hype with Hades? What is it? The art uh, style. Why game, game of the year? Because it looks like played... Diablo style. It looks like a Diablo style action game. That's what it looks like. It's, it's much uh... faster. It's... At the beginning, it was rough for me because I was just like, oh, I'm supposed to lose. Like, I had to accept that I'm supposed to lose at the beginning. Like, it's literally part of the game because you're not really yeah. going to beat it in the first try, especially not understand the mechanics, how the enemies work. But the game doesn't make you feel like shit for losing. The game is like, oh, you lost. Uh, this is why you lost. And then there's oh. conversations between the characters that, like, uh, work because of you losing. So, for example, Hades is about the son of Hades. And his name is, I forgot the name of the main character. <laughs> Oh, it's the son of Hades. I didn't know that. Yeah, you play as the son that. of Hades, who I okay. forgot his name. Uh, but he's he's trying to get out of hell. He's trying to go out to the outside world. And Hades is trying to stop him at all costs. Uh, so you, there's different sections. Story. There's different the same. There's different bosses in each section that you have to get through. And if you die, you go right back to the beginning. There's no checkpoints. <clears throat> Zagreus. His name is Zagreus. Zagreus, yes. So it's like you die, it's over. I'll see you next time. Uh, get stronger. Now you know what this enemy does. Get ready to see its same attack patterns, things like that. It's great for people who like repetition. I don't know if I like yes, that. Cobra. That feel. I don't know if I like that style of view though. That I think if they made it almost in a two D or in a three D, I would probably enjoy it more than the top view. So that that's the only thing that I think I that I was that hesitated me from even trying it. It's taller. It's not that bad. The game is a. Uh... It's good. It's definitely a good game. It it it's definitely my underrated game of the year. Like I, I definitely played underrated. that game, not expecting much, because it was like fifteen bucks when I bought it, and I had a blast. I have like ninety. I have like fuck. Let me check Steam. I have quite a bit of time on it, and I wasn't even intending on doing that. Because, well, spoiler alert: you beat the game once, you don't actually beat the game. <laughs> you have to beat it a yeah. couple of times to get the true ending. Yeah. What you have really? To beat it not. Yeah, you have to, because once you beat it the first time, beating it again is not hard. That's why I, I was like curious to what Cobra sh said. He said that he's on his thirteenth win. Like, does that mean the thirteenth time you beat the game, or what no? It's just it's not hard, like at all. You beat it once, dude. You you start beating it like it's clockwork, dude. Yeah, you just gotta figure out what works with you, your strats, what you get for RNG, and then be like, all right, I got this. Okay, I got that. Not gonna have this, but let me let me else. check my Hades game time. Cause Cobra bought it after I did. I saw the one he was playing. I played twenty five hours of Hades. Nice. Yeah, and I played I played maybe fourteen of it in like two days. Wow. Cause on my downtime, whenever I just wasn't doing anything, I just play Hades. And you can you can save your progress so like there's no checkpoints but if you want to drop the game and come back later it'll leave you exactly where you were nice so it's like i'll just come back hey this run is going great i'm tired but i'll, I'll come back to it like i do I, I do that all the time that's cool that'd be a perfect yeah. switch game though though not gonna lie cobra what's your favorite weapons i definitely like the fisticuffs definitely my favorite weapons Hold up. I'm Fisticuffs gonna, with. Uh, go ahead, I'm going to bring this up on screen right now because I want to see what games, what games we can choose from. Okay, video game. What does this pop up? Get out of here! No thanks. Ew, shit. Nominees. Here we go. Okay, so for game of the year, yeah, it's Doom Eternal. Are you guys oh, wait, while you're doing remake. this, are you guys excited for the event itself? Yeah, obviously. I'm kind of hyped. Uh, the announcements, I'm man. Always, I'm always the excited for, for the announcements for games or DLC that are going to come out. They always do it. And, I uh, enjoy the personalities a lot who, who join. That too, yeah. I hear I uh, Reggie fils is coming back. I'm excited for that. I think Former I U.S. president of Nintendo. Honestly, I, one yes. thing I'm looking forward to is watching. I want to see the Yo video game stream do it. Like I look forward to that every fucking year. Ever the since Max spins. and the guys have started doing it, um, like I love seeing them together, just doing the video games awards. I think it's super fun. And I, I obviously won't be streaming it myself because I just want to watch like Max, Kenny, Steve, and Simmons. Like you know, just have a good time watching it with them and just react to the to the. Um, announcements and whatnot because obviously we're gonna get a we should be getting lots of announcements at this 
at this game uh, video game awards because we're in next gen so i would hope that a lot of these companies are going to put out some announcements um that is my hope so hopefully we see some good shit yeah Oh, Animal Crossing's there too. Fucking Animal. I don't know why people love that game. I mean, I'm not criticizing it. It's a game for some people. I'm not that type of people. But you're a bunch of fucking nerds. It's um, a game I'm about crazy. repetition. It's like Hades. You do the same shit all the time. People enjoy that. People enjoy waking up. Hey, I'm going to go pick this fruit up. Put that bitch here. Go to sleep. Do it again tomorrow. People like doing that. Jessica likes playing Ori and the Blind Forest. Over I use that example a lot because I didn't... I didn't consciously think about it until Max mentioned it. Repetition is the type of game that people enjoy. People mm -hmm. enjoy that shit. My mom loves that shit. She plays fucking Farmville on her phone all the time. And if she's not playing Farmville, she'll play uh, Animal Crossing. <laughs> well, she's I'm like, stream yourself watching the OVD game stream of them watching the video game awards. <laughs> <laughs> I think you Fucking can do that. Inception. Actually. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't Yo, restream should, Max's it'd stream. It'd be funny if we did a a, a, a Yo Video Game streamception. <laughs> us, reacting, us reacting to Kenny, Steve, Max, and Simmons reacting to the video <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to clip That's this and I'm going to send it to you, Max, Kenny, and Steve, and Simmons. You guys tell me what you think. Bro, no, I'm not going to do that. Um, that'd be fucking funny. We're going to do a reaction to you guys reacting. Um... Anyways, but yeah, so for game of the year, I, I don't know. I think I would probably, again, I haven't, the only game that I've played out of these six is Final Fantasy VII Remake, but I'm only up to chapter three, so. And Ghost of Tsushima is great. Yeah, it is. I've watched a lot of people chapter play Ghost of Tsushima. is my favorite Tsushima. chapter. FF Seven is great. Animal Crossing is great. Lost Planet, Lost Planet. The Last of Us 2. I didn't want to play part one. I didn't give a shit about part two. I watched Chris Move play it because Chris Move has an amazing commentary style. Um, I watch for games that I generally have no interest. I just watch Chris Move play it. So like the GTA campaign, I watched him play it because I, I didn't give a shit about it. I but. think I would I would like either Final Fantasy VII or Ghost of Tsushima to win. Honestly, same. Either one those of those are my two. top two. Either one of those two. I'm yeah, I want one either one. Uh, Doom, I don't think is game of the year material. It's a great game, but it's not game of the year uh, at all, in my oh, opinion. Oh, have, have any of you guys ever watched the, um, what is that video game documentary on Netflix, guys? I know a lot of you guys have watched it, but there was a whole segment in there about how Doom, the Doom creators were the, basically the guys that made the Oh, FPS no clip? Mo no, it wasn't no clip. No, are you sure? Because there's it's a no clip documentary on YouTube. No, not on YouTube. It's on Netflix. Oh, Netflix. Oh, okay, okay. High score, oh. yes. High score. That That's that's what it is killing me. I never um, saw that. But watch, that. watch it. Watch it. Because it, it explains, like, the inception of video games from, like, the birth of who made the original idea. And the it, they go into fighting games. They go into Street Fighter's history about how Street Fighter got started. When did Doom come out? At the beginning of the year before FF7. Yeah, Sorry, and, and they go into the whole, into Doom, and like the Doom creators, who honestly look like Satanists, um, and it kind of made me happy oh, yeah. that they were fellow <laughs> Satanists, um, actually, they were the ones that made first-person shooter, like, multiplayer. Like, they were yeah. the ones that made the whole thing. Yeah, And, like, yeah, that's, that's actually insane to think about, you know? Like, these guys that made Doom were the ones that, um, that birthed they, that idea and brought it to life. They literally made the FPS genre, like, no cap. And he did. Doom deserves the credit. Yep. Absolutely. Without Doom, there would be no FPS. I mean, there, there would be, be, but it wouldn't be what there's it is. There's a lot today. of gate, gr gate. There's a lot of great games that I personally just have not played. The Fallout games I've heard good things about. I've never played Fallout, but I've heard good things about it. Yep. Yeah, I've never played any of the Fall Guys games. What else? What else is on this? Um. I'm going to ask you guys, like, what announcements you guys would like to see, but let me take a quick... Before we go into that, let me see what others see. Okay, so best game direction, best narrative, best art direction, best score and music, audio design performance, games for impact, best ongoing... Are either any of you guys mobile game players? This is like a best mobile, mobile what? game. Mobile, mobile what? Mobile what? Keep scrolling. Yeah, okay. None of us. 
Um, there is one game that I play on my phone all the time called Brick Wait, Ball Lou, Breaker. I feel bad. You're not a mobile. You're, you're barely a gamer. No offense. No, I don't, a I'm a gamer, gamer, right? I'm more right, of like, cool. uh, I used to be a big gamer back in the day. Now, I'm like, I don't really have time as much as I want to. Nah, but respect, I'm not. man. I don't, I don't really play um, mobile games like that. Actually, the only game I do play is Plants vs. Zombies, and that's because my son plays it all the time. So That is dope. He makes that me... is a good game to play, too. He makes mm -hmm. me he makes me beat some of the levels to get the characters and then he just wants to watch me play. That's cute. That's hella cute. Oh, let's talk about this since we're since we're sort of part of the FGC. Best fighting game. Um and the choices oh. are Grand Blue, MK eleven, ugh, ugh, Street Fighter Five, One Pu Is there is there is this an error, guys? Chat, let me know. Is this an error? Is there really a one punch man fighting game? Yep. There is. Yeah. There is? So basically, the One Punch Man game is you pick all the other, any of the characters of the One Punch Man series, and your job is to fight it out and last as long as you can before One Punch Man gets to the match. So if your enemy gets One Punch Man, you're fucked. You can't do shit. You're done. <laughs> but if you get two people as One Punch Man, it's like never ending. It's pretty. I didn't funny. even wasn't even aware that there was a fighting game that came out. And oh yeah, then there's under under. Night under night blah 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 under night is is a solid uh fighting game oh shit yeah it's pretty good it's not bad i, I, I well i haven't played it myself but i played there's one that maximus brian one of my mods have told one. me to play i forgot which one it was but it was pretty fun i kicked his ass in it too um it? i don't know i don't know what game i would vote for i mean obviously the only one i play i uh, used to play on a regular basis was street fighter 5 but Street Fighter V, the net code really does not deserve a fucking award, honestly. No. Maybe it does the not. new the lewd cami mods that might make oh, a game of the air for me. Which I'm probably gonna play on Wednesday, by the way, so heads up, chat. On Wednesday I'll be playing Street Fighter V with lewd mods as well as uh Warzone. So look forward to that on Wednesday. With nude what? <laughs> lewd mods. Because I can Sexy. run it on my PC again. So yeah. Alright. Right. Uh, oh yeah, I'll here? definitely fight you in that for sure. Oh wait, but I'll be playing Cyberpunk. Fuck. <laughs> she. What is this? I... What is this category we're looking at right here? What the best uh, content the creator? Year? Oh. Don't care. The Maybe Tim the Tatman. Oh, the one with Fall Guys. That was uh, best multiplayer. <laughs> Animal Crossing, Among Us, Call of Duty, uh, Fall Guys. Actually, this is a really tough category because a lot of these, a lot of these games. Are, like I had a blast playing Among Us. Obviously, Warzone. I had super fun playing Fall Guys, but I got a lot of people play fucking Valorant, man. A lot of people play Valorant. Valorant is fun. I've but never you don't tried have, it, I but so many people play it. Don't bro. play, don't, don't. You won't have the patience for it. One bullet, you die, dude. People have good ass accuracy in that game. They don't play no games. It's it's no joke, dude. Like it, it took me legit two months to play that game. Now I was playing it because my friends were playing it, but fuck me. Like now I love Valorant. I've spent quite a bit of money on it, but. Like, it's, is it like a my gun game? is a dragon. It's Bro, yeah, fucking... it's made by right. The same people that own League of Legends, they, they made that game. To me, Valorant is just CSGO with superpowers. That's all it is. It is. It's, it's Overwatch CSGO. Overwatch CSGO, yeah. And I'm just like, yeah, no thanks. <laughs> it's a good know. game. It is. I mean, it's obviously, tough to get into uh, if, you, if you enjoy the, the respawn games. I would personally vote for, obviously, Warzone just because I spent so many hours playing it. And I have, to, I have a lot of good memories. Did Warzone come it. out this year? Uh, it did January. Yes, yeah, it January. did January. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember He's the right. one year anniversary for when we think a new map might drop for Warzone is January. Um, all right. What else? Let me see if there's any other categories. I don't think there are. Oh, best content creator. My vote would be Nick Merckx. I, love, I watch a lot of Nick Merckx. He's a cool dude. Um, where is, why isn't Max in this fucking thing? Max should be one of these people. Seriously. <laughs> But Max is should... the great is is the most popular content creator for a the smallest genre. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, true. He is. Think of it that way. He he's 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 up there. He's top fifty in Twitch, but it's the smallest genre. Yeah. Yeah. That's unfortunate though. All right. I, I bet you if he were to do COD on the regular, he'd probably be more out there. So he, but I mean, he did that for his... a while, but it's just a COD audience. You got it's tired of COD, it. Yeah, yeah. You got tired yeah he of got it. bored. Like, um, I'm not going to lie. COD gets boring after a while. So let me ask you guys. So now that we talked about, like, all that shit, what 
announcements would you guys be looking forward to? Obviously, Marvel vs. Capcom 4. I'm just going to throw it out there. But realistically, what announcements are you guys hoping for? If I had to say something, bro, it's, uh, I don't know if we mentioned that earlier, but Marvel vs. Capcom 4 is my... <laughs> nah, definitely just Marvel. <laughs> Marvel is definitely the my top like big game that I want to kind of Yeah, Marvel's the only game that would really get me excited, man. Like Final Fantasy 7 got me excited and even though it, when it came out I totally neglected it. You, like that got me know? excited. And then a Marvel game is the only thing that will actually get me excited again, like seriously. You know what would win people over from Marvel versus Capcom? It's easy, bro. You fucking you 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 get the Marvel the you know Capcom presents Marvel Comics, right? Right? The screen is black. Capcom presents fucking Miles Morales punches the screen with the Spider-Verse colors and like oh, the art style, man. right? Boom. We got Spider-Man, right? Wolverine is his opponent, right? But where's the Capcom characters? Fucking Ryu pulls up. Tatsumaki Senpukyaku. That's it. I'm that fuck Iron Man. Because right now the yeah, most famous Marvel character is Spider-Man. Have yeah, that it's... and have Miles pull up. Psh, that's it, bro. So we're gonna ban Yoke Daddy because he said Minecraft too. What is the what is the thing with Minecraft? That's another game a lot of fucking people play. I just don't understand. I have Why? a server. I've been playing with friends. Minecraft it's just it's fun. just open world Lego. It's literally open world creative mode, dude. Just have fun. What is wrong with you nerds? I don't play no Minecraft because no I, I don't care. I don't but... judge you when you play your weird games. What weird oh, games do I play, Bacon? <laughs> I don't know. I was just calling you weird. Can you just exactly. My, I mean, I am a weird food? person in general, but still, I'm not. A, I'm not. I'm not some nerd playing Minecraft. And hey, that's League offensive of to all the Minecraft players. All right, that's offensive. Final Fantasy XIV. All right, that's offensive. And World of Warcraft, League of Legends. Um, these are all great games you're naming, by the way. Just uh, nerds for nerds. Anyways, um, what else are we gonna talk about? Oh, Lou, Lou, Nettie, any announcements you guys might be looking forward to? Mm, no. I don't know what's going on. Not that on. I can think of that I know would come out, because I doubt it will happen, but I'd like to see a new Mega Man X game come out, but I highly doubt that'll happen. Well, I mean, Mega Man, I, I Mega heard Man Mega was, was that 11 oh. or 12? Mega Man 11 came out already. Yeah, yeah that game was cool. I own it. I, I, I wanted to buy it, but I was like... It's okay. It's a fun game, but it's okay. It's, no, it's, not it's great. definitely worth. It's not full price, right? It's definitely worth the price. Mm. I'm just a fan of the music. If I'm being honest, Mega Man music is great. Mega Man music is fantastic. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, Lou, you don't know what we're talking about, right? Let me explain to the boomer. Hold on, chat. Hold on. Bacon, <laughs> Nettie. Boomer. Uh, let me explain to the boomer real quick. So every year, uh, Lou, they have this thing called the Video Game Awards, uh, called the VGAs, basically. And really? during the Video Game Awards, um, it they... happens typically every December. Do they play video games together? What else do they do there? No, they're, they're a bunch of nerds. It's like people I know. that play League of Legends. I'm being sarcastic, dude. I know. It's like a fucking award show. The best game. Yeah, is. yeah. And during the award show, the, mo the thing that most people look forward to about it is that there are usually big announcements that happen. Um, for like the you know new big video games and shit like that. So that's the next year's games. Watch the it. next yeah. year's games, basically. Yeah, yeah. Because the last one, the Star Wars game, was announced, right? Fucking Fallen Order was announced in the last one. Holy shit! We have thirty-seven people watching us. Why? Why? Are you people All right, listen. Bored? Can we go um, back to the Vijaz? To the what? The Vijaz. What? What about the? What else do you want to talk about the Vijaz? The, the I know about Vijaz. Well, it, I think it's, I think it's dope. Um, what was I gonna say? There was something I was gonna say, and now I literally forgot. Don't you hate when that kind of thing happens when you're a boomer? Your memory well. starts to fade. Um, let me let me ask you guys this. So, what? Well, first of all, who here has a PS5? Me. So just me and Lou, me and the boomer. Yep. Yo, Lou, if you could hit my hotline with that PS5, <laughs> I'm gonna rub mu pop muffin phrase and sell it to you. Did you even buy any games for it, Lou, or no? Uh, just call um, Cold War. Cold War, alright, fair enough. Well, but, uh, um, the thing I'm tempted with Cyberpunk. Uh, 
You're tempted to... Oh, see, so you're a fucking nerd, too. You want to get Cyberpunk? Um... Yeah, we'll see about Cyberpunk. Maybe I will. I don't think that's a Sony game we're good at this gun on, though, which kind of sucks. He he wants to get those big cyber titties, you know? I, I've been dreaming since Total Recall. Yeah, there, he knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> I think I remember what, exactly what you're talking about, actually. Um, What was I going to say? So, I actually did use my PS5 for the first time to play Final Fantasy 7. And I, I was hoping it would be 60 frames, p frames per second, but obviously the, the 30 FPS is locked. Uh, but mm -hmm. it was fine, though. It was fine. The game still looked amazing. Um, yeah. And I did it using remote play, so it, it everything worked perfectly fine. So I actually finally used my PS5 for something, um, which was nice. But let's talk about... Because we, we were going to talk about this for two weeks in a row, but we just always ran out of time. So far, for the PS5 or for next gen, even for Xbox Series X, I don't know what losers out there bought an Xbox. Um, but what have been your biggest disappointments and like what have you been amazed at so far by the ps5 or next gen games hmm. um for me i don't know i'm still get, kind of getting used to like the home screen like you know how you have to like switch games and like power off sometimes i don't know yeah it's, weird to... yeah, it's a learning curve it's, as well even when i got my ps4 it was uh, it was a learning curve for me too um any well <laughs> Any disappointments for you, particular bacon? Like anything that you've been disappointed in? Or... I get we got like the demon souls and shit, but it's not enough content for a new gen for me. Like I feel like when the X the Xbox One and the PS4 drop, there was so much shit to do. Like there was like four or five games to play. This one, it's like you're either playing Demon Souls or Spider Man. <sighs> yeah, Spider Man. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's no, it's no. But Spider Man, you can like, play everyone on PS4 wants it, but as, you're, as what, well, are you, what are you so. going to do? Play your old games that run almost exactly the same? Like, the only one that I could think that has a big difference that I've seen is Ghost of Tsushima. And I haven't done a lot of research. That's not me. But from what I've seen, I'm not too excited about it, you know? Um, That's why I haven't even rushed to get it. Like, my dad is like, he, he's not in a rush either. But even if he gets it, there's no games for him to play. Because yeah, the games I, that are I, available, I, it's I, not for him to play. Well, I don't regret buying one because I'm obviously going to have use for it. But like I said, it was for the first. When when did it come out again? November 12th. And yeah, today's November. what date? What's today's date? December 7th. Like almost December a month 7th, now. For a month. For a month, I didn't use my PS5 at all. Uh, but that's just me. Because, again, I, I would love to play Demon Souls. But I personally know I just don't have the patience for it. Um, but I think Z Demon Souls was really fun to watch other people play. Um, but yeah, I'd probably say the biggest disappointment is, like, I would, if Gran Turismo 7 came out, I would be playing the fuck out of it right now, honestly. Gran Turismo would be fucking amazing. I haven't like, played it since 3. I've been wanting to play a racing game for the longest, and I think that's probably one I'm looking forward to. Also, like Ghostwire, Tokyo Ghostwire is another one that I want to play, and I thought it would be a launch game, but it's not. And I don't know if I'm going to still be interested in playing it by the time it fucking comes out, honestly. So, I don't know. Did Xbox... So, Xbox didn't have any um, release games, no, right? Like, Halo was supposed to be one, but it got pushed back, right? Uh... Yeah, good thing too, because that would have flopped. It would have flopped. Like, let's go. I need I need developers to realize when shit's not gonna work, and I need you to fucking adapt. Because if you're if you're forcing shit out because you're forcing shit out, then don't. It's not gonna work out, man. That's why I'm glad they they pushed that shit back because it wasn't gonna work out. And I don't even think I'm buying an Xbox. It's just for the the idea that it's just it's a good idea to push shit back. Because for example, Activision instead of pushing back this COD, they were like, no, we gotta get this shit out. Cold yeah. War could have been in the next the, the, the next gen game, oh the next the next game for the, the the next year, and this shit was just been pushed back. Like that's it. Like it's what are people gonna do? They have Warzone and shit. But I guess they were so deep into development and shit like that that I guess they just were like, nah, we gotta get no, it out it's now. It's not just that. You gotta think about it from a business the business standpoint. But even business standpoint, they they should have held up because you gotta think about it. They've already big companies set budgets almost years in advance. Like they say, okay, we're predicting that we're gonna make. Three billion dollars by by 2021, and then they develop future plans based on that. Like companies have actual five-year plans. Like I've been in meetings where CEOs are talking about um, midterm and long-term planning. And when they do long-term planning, they're planning literally five years ahead and contemplating how much budget they're going to have based on decisions they make from like years ahead. 
So that's sort of one reason why they were just like, and I think Call of Duty has fell, fallen into that cycle where it's like, we need a game every year in order to meet budget standards and hit our goals. Um, but also because they know suckers are just going to fucking buy it. They know all those kids that get money and get game games from mommy and daddy. They're going to make them buy it regardless of how much of a shitty game it is. And uh, they oh, got yeah. me. They got me. I spent my $60, $70 on it. Because I was a, I turned out to be a big COD fan all of a sudden. So, don't forget you know. the COVID thing too. Might have played a played a role because. Um, yep, COVID. Yep. You know they wanted to maybe get it out before, let's say, uh, another shutdown happens or she gets worse. You know, they didn't want to lose all that money they invested, so they were like, let's just get the game out. Uh, I mean, um, it's just it's, uh, straight up based on business financial goals. That's all it really is, and they know people are gonna buy it. They, I, they probably they probably knew exactly. How many people were gonna realistically buy it as well? But they don't give a fuck. They still made. Uh, how many cop? Does anybody know how many copies Cold War has, has sold so far? Uh, I can take a quick look. Uh, yeah, One if you billion. can, if you can Google it, I guarantee you it's a shitload of fucking money. Um, so. Let's see. Uh, how many copies? Thirty million. Thirty million times seventy. What is that, Nettie? Thirty million times, times 60. Do sixty. Do sixty. Well, that's if they bought that that version. If they bought a different version, it would be <laughs> eighteen hundred million. Eighteen hundred million dollars. So there you go. Money More or less. Yeah. And it's it's just gonna grow because as, as once once all those kids' friends are all playing it and the kids that held off because they for whatever reason, mommy, daddy, Timmy has the new Cold War. I don't. Guess what? They're going to get it for fucking Christmas, and their parents are going to spend more money. So that number is just going to bounce even further by the time Christmas rolls around. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. Whatever. We talked a lot about Cold War. How much time have we spent? That's just, you could say the same thing when it comes to the uh, FIFA bros and the, and the, and the NBA... NBA yeah, horse. yeah, obviously. Even obviously. though their games are terribly, like, just copied and pasted, they still buy the same shit every year because the, they have nothing else to buy. Like, like these, like EA ha literally owns pretty much every single sport, like simulated sports game out there. Like, there's no competition for it, unfortunately. It's the same way Bandai Namco owns all the anime games. Yep. So there's no way for people, other people, to like play other games that might be better. My well, opinion, Bandai is doing a good job, though. So what, was really does a good job. Yeah. what was the fighting anime game that came out that was arena style? What was the name of that shit again? That, that was what? what? The fighting anime style game that was in arena style, the one with all the characters. That was Jump so Force. Jump, Jump Force? Force. Yes. If the, I don't know why they just don't make a Jump Force style game like a shonen type game, like just like Dragon Ball Z. I will buy it so fucking quick, and I will play the fuck out of it because I'll have characters that I actually fucking like. Like, when are I've they gonna fucking do that? I, I don't know, man. It's just... It's hard. You gotta like, bro, if I could pick shit. Kenpachi, license, uh, Akuma, and the fucking The license Vegeta? user is fucking hard for those characters. It is. Because Jump Force they, didn't sell very well, so... People are gonna look at it and be like, I don't know, we already did bought, Jump Force. It didn't I bought my... Good. I don't know what to get for my brother for Christmas. <laughs> I just took him to GameStop, and he wanted Jump Force, so I got him Jump Force. Um, and it's like, I accepted that it's going to be bad. I did. So I'm just yeah. like, when I play with him, it's just whatever to me. Like, I'm not like, oh shit, this game is ass the whole time. I'm just playing it. Yeah, you're just yeah. playing it for the point of playing it. Yeah. I got you. Just play it to play it. I just hope they, they, they do that style of game in a fucking 2D style, man. Like, I, I've been waiting for that for fucking years, bro. I don't know what's taking them so long. Like, Dragon Ball Z did it, thank God. Even though I'm not really a big fan of the game, but, you know. Anyways, um, let's move on. We only have 30 minutes left, so let's cover these two last topics that we usually do. Um, new shows and movies you guys watched this past week. Uh, I haven't watched anything new. I've been watching the same I haven't stuff. Either. I've been, I worked all week and I came home and knocked out. How has your new job been going, by the way, Bega? We're good. Boss is cool. Um, job is nice. We've been, it, it's cool. Um, but I just actually, I had a meeting today with, uh, one of the animation directors for Nickelodeon. Really? So I don't think I'll be, yeah, he was a sweet guy. His name's Frank. I don't think I'll be investing too much time into the bank, especially if I can get an opportunity with animation. Yeah, that's your career parents, path, so. Yeah, parents just want me to have a backup plan. 
Yeah. So this is why I'm just doing banking, but I don't really want to do banking. Like it's it's good as a backup, but not for me. Um, Lou, any new movies, shows you watched this week? Um, I actually watched the Fresh Prince of Bel Air reunion on HBO really? Max. Was How was dope. it? I liked it. I mean, you know, we um we're the same age, so that big or um. Are we really? Are we really, Lou? You think we're the same age? That's true. I forgot you're a demon. Um, but no, it was, it was pretty cool. It was um pretty interesting, and um I actually caught up on The Outsider. I saw one more episode, and I'm gonna start watching The Undoing, which I heard is pretty good. Um, I'm gonna check that out soon. What episode are you up to on Outsider? Um, I think it's this, I think I have one more episode left. Okay, all right. All right. I'm be curious to hear your thoughts after you're done. Here's the uh-huh. tip, guys. Never, 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 never get into watching a show with your significant other because guess what you can't watch it yeah yeah can't watch it without them so i said f it i'm watching it um and what's the undoing what is that i mean i don't know much about it too much but i've been hearing a lot of stuff about it like um, online that it's a pretty good show and it's one of the best shows in hbo right now so it's on hbo really yeah i've been i was browsing hbo just two nights ago and i didn't see anything about the undoing yeah it's on there oh, it's yeah just uh, the season finale the other night and um did really well from what i heard some white shit jesus night jesus what the fuck bro um so i've been watching more westworld um so far it's still pretty good um i'm on season three so i think there's only four or five episodes left for this season um well, it's been pretty good. I'm going to keep watching it. Um, and I watched Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Love that movie. Finally saw it. Loved that movie. One night I just laid out my sofa and I was like, fuck it. I'm going to watch a movie for the first time in like two years. And um, I love God- uh, Godzilla. was probably my favorite character for- as a child. And um, yeah, I fucking loved it. It was a- It was a good movie. It was a good movie. Godzilla is so great, dude. Like, I, I I love it. It's a, it's not like, oh, this movie has great direction. No, it's just a fun movie to watch. Yeah, like, it was a fun movie. It's it just a fun big movie. ass monsters doing big ass. I monster just things. love the fucking the lore, like all the lore that they give. Like, oh, this monster originated from here and blah blah blah. I fucking love that shit. I am a can't wait for the for the, shit, the King man. Kong movie. Is anyone here a, a more of a King Kong um, fan than a Godzilla fan? Okay, cool. No one's a degenerate. Good, thank God, because I was gonna bet. I'm gonna boot you off the fucking show. I'm gonna boot you off the show. We couldn't be friends anymore. Where did you watch the Godzilla movie? On HBO. It was on HBO. There you go, chat. That's your answer. Um, sorry about that. Yeah, it's HBO. on HBO. And if you guys want to do a free trial, a free trial. I'm sorry, I have a fucking cough drop in my mouth. Um, let me just spit this shit out. Hold on. All right. He spit the fuck out that cough. Yo, y'all heard that? That shit, is gar- that shit is in the bathroom. <laughs> Yo, bro, I totally missed my fucking garbage. And now it's, it's sitting on my floor. I'll pick it up later. Anyways. Um, please pick it up now. That shit gets sticky. I'll, I'll, pick it up, I'll pick it up later. I'll pick it up later. Oh, Anyways, man, what, what, what were we talking about again? Oh, yeah. HBO. HBO. <laughs> Free trial. Free trial. <laughs> if you guys have Amazon Prime, um, you could do a seven-day free trial. Um, with HBO, so there's your tip. Just do the seven day free trial, watch whatever shows you want or movies, just binge it for seven days with um, Babish. And yeah, or just you could just uh, you could just subscribe to it and cancel Netflix because Netflix is now eighteen dollars a month. What? Yeah. Netflix went up to eighteen bucks. Is Netflix really is that the base price or is that the like the like premium plan shit? I think the premium. The regular one is fifteen now, I think. I haven't even been using Netflix that much. Like, the last show I watched on Netflix was The Queen's Gambit, and that was it. I haven't... I, I like, browsed Netflix last night, and I couldn't find anything I wanted to watch. Yeah, Actually, I no, I'm know. lying. I'm lying. I started watching the movie Troy last night um, before I passed out, and that was on Netflix. Um, regular I don't Netflix know how you guys can just find dollars? shows and do that. I've never That's been still kind type. of a lot. You get HBO Max for like eight bucks. You get um Disney Plus, I think, for like what nine or twelve? Six bucks. Six Bro, bucks. Bro, I'm subscribed it? to so many services. I'm subscribed to fucking HBO, 
Crunchyroll, Netflix, Amazon Prime, but that's for, mainly for deliveries and not really for the Bro, actual huh? content. All um, these subs are just like TV cat packages back in the day again. And then I'm subscribed to like so many people on Twitch too. It's like I don't even know what my Twitch monthly bill would be like. It's like probably like 30 bucks or some shit like that because I subscribe to a few people. Don't forget OnlyFans. Oh, don't forget OnlyFans. I don't. Luck, <laughs> thank God I don't have an Only. I don't subscribe to anyone's OnlyFans. Even though I've been tempted a few times, I haven't. But jeez, man. He's he's subscribed to mine. He's lying. I mean, you stopped sending me nudes after you fucking hooked up with your girl, bro. What am I supposed to do? You gotta pay, pay to see, man. There's no free trial here. Me, me and Steve had this exact conversation last time we played Cold War on his um on his stream. The exact conversation. And I said, Steve, those are samples. A sample is the first time freebie. After that, you have to pay. And he was arguing with me about that. Anyways, um... No one else has watched any good movies or shows lately? Nothing? Anything you guys are looking forward to watching or seeing? Uh, nothing crazy going on right now, so... Yeah, there's nothing crazy coming out recently that I want to watch right now. Oh! Uh, Attack on Titan Season 4 just came out. Yeah, someone was um, raving. I, I still haven't even watched Season 2. I watched Season 1 and I haven't I'm waiting. Past I'm going to wait until like January to watch it because I want to wait for a couple of uh, <sighs> couple of episodes so I don't have to like wait every fucking week. You know, that's the reason I haven't played the One Piece game again because I know if I play the One Piece game, I had so much fun playing it. I know if I play it, I'm going to want to go back and watch more One Piece and right now I'm letting it build up so I can binge it again. And it's only been, what, a fucking month, man? And I don't know how much... I'm going to have to wait like a whole year, bro. It really sucks. Oh, I forgot a show. Uh, Mandalorian. Last oh, Mando, episode man. Of fire. I heard Ahsoka is crazy. I I've skipped the last four episodes. I've been letting it, like, build up. Ooh, I I've seen yeah. screenshots of, uh, really of good. Ahsoka. Ooh, and, she um, looked good. Is Ahsoka Yoda, the female or... wrestler? What's her name? I forgot her name. No, it's... Um, um, she's the actor. I forgot her name. Her name. Ah... The girl from Kids, uh, Muff. <clears throat> Remember um, Spanish chick from Kids? Bro, that was... Well, tell me what year we watched Kids together, Lou. Can you ask me to times. remember that shit, bro? Come on. Of course I do. Butterscotch, my favorite. <laughs> I do not remember. I do not remember. But they finally gave um, Baby Yoda his uh, real name. So you could... Um, oh, don't say it. Don't say I it. I, I almost said it. I almost I said will. it. I will kill you. Yeah, I Sasha Banks. That's, yo, Sasha Banks is so hot, bro. She's fucking beautiful. Um, oh yeah, I fucking have Hulu too. Hulu is one I need to cancel. I definitely don't use Hulu anymore. Hulu, yo, I need to fucking get on Hulu so I can watch the Animaniacs because I don't get it here. Oh, that's right. It is on anim It is on Hulu, right? Yeah, I need to watch it. I'll give you my password. Just hit me up later and just remind me. I right, I'll um, watch it tomorrow or something. Well, just DM me or whatever. Damn, you guys said Attack on Titan. All I could think is that stupid theme song in my head. <laughs> yeah, stupid shit is in my head. I totally now. forgot that uh, that theme song. It's been so long since sick. I watched. It's so it's sick. Such a one. good one. So sick. Was it like season two or three? Also had season. a good one. I think it was I three. Know. I skipped all of them after the first one. It's good shit, man. It's really good. Yeah, it was season three I was thinking of, right? That's right. Season three. It's very similar to the first season's intro. Oh, there's a lot of enemies I need to go back and finish. Attack on Titans one. Um, what's the Tokyo Ghouls another? This there's a few that I started that I never just finished. Even One Punch One Punch Man, I never finished One Punch Man. <laughs> one Pants. One Pants Man. Um, one Pants Man doesn't change. <laughs> 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 That, that is pretty much me. I always had one pair of jeans and one pair of slacks that I just wore over and over. Um, watch Initial D, not my cup of tea. Um, Alright, let's go into the final topic of the evening. Food. Food. What foods did you guys eat this past week? And was it delicious or was it nasty? Ah, uh, man, Florida. Problem what? here is that I have New York food in my mouth so when i'm eating shit from here i'm just like damn i know damn i got a good spot in new york that tastes way better than this shit and I, it's been like that like me i'm a huge burger guy like love burgers are that. you a fan of cuban sandwiches or not 
I love Cuban sandwiches, dude. Well, I haven't had better, many, They're better but... Cubans down in Florida than, well, Miami specifically, than uh, New York. I haven't found I a good know. Cuban in New York, honestly. I haven't found, uh, there was a good one that I found in Brooklyn. It was okay. It wasn't all that. I do not have Pornhub Premium. Neither do I. I don't know why you, sure? you would get Pornhub otherwise. Premium. You don't even need premium on that website. Yeah, I could usually it's find a like... decent video in like about five, ten minutes searching for a video. You find something. Yeah. Oh, the McRib. Oh, God, Dylan. So Dylan the said shit. the magic word. There have been like literally every fucking day. My mouth is actually, my mouth is fucking watering right now as soon as I started talking about it. I'm not even joking. My mouth just started watering. <laughs> Bro, I've been wanting to get one so bad, but I keep telling myself, no, don't do it. Don't do it. You can't do it. Because the reason why I'm really... It's not because I'm fucking vegan now. It's really because I'm actually scared what it might do to my stomach. Because I haven't had pork or, or beef in like three months. I'm actually scared like how my stomach might react to it. But man, I want to order one so bad, bro. Also, it's McDonald's. Yeah, the fact that it's also McDonald's, yeah. Yeah, and that's the thing. Yeah, it's, it's a combination of fake meat... As well as be just being, even though I, there was a night that I was tempted to just get a Big Mac too, but I just stopped myself. And lately, I, I I've ended been, up ordering a garden burger. Lately, I've been cutting, trying to cut back on McDonald's food because eating it now makes me sick to my stomach after eating it once. Mm. I can't, I just can't eat it anymore. It start, it's just like, ugh. I feel like I want to throw up or just like take my stomach and just eat that shit. Yeah, and that's something. That's what happens when you eat bad food. Like you feel, you feel different when you eat a shitty meal compared to when you eat like a good, healthy meal. You know, you feel it immediately yeah. afterwards. Like you just, you just if you eat a bad meal that just like you shouldn't be eating, you just lay there and you feel like a piece of shit. You're just like, oh my god, it was so good going down, but it is feels horrible right now. Yeah, when you eat a good, healthy meal, like you eat some like a nice. Vegan. I've been enjoying salads like, so much. Salads are amazing. Y'all need it to have some fucking salads. Depends what salad bro. it is. It depends what salad. Bro, um, honestly, yeah. I just get mixed greens, slice up avocados, literally a bit of ranch, a little bit of lemon, some olive oil to make the the sauce thicker, and then you just just eat that bitch, man. It's good. Like I don't know. I just love salads. Yeah, that's the thing, Barcimento. Like, literally, like, every day I spend $9 on a smoothie veggie drink. Every fucking day. And it adds up, bro. It adds up to fucking trying to be healthy, man. And that really sucks. It really does fucking suck. Like, I've been having to cut down on my dinner expenses just so I could hit, like, my daily eating budget. You know, just... It sucks. You, the problem with fast food is like you think, yo, if I buy a Big Mac, it's cheaper than me buying like a Big Mac meal. It's cheaper than me buying groceries, right? The problem yeah. is groceries might last you a week. That McDonald's lasts you maybe a day yeah, exactly. and a half if you save it. So, gotta think about that always. Mm -hmm. My thing is I don't like buying vegetables because I'm just stupid when it comes to when it comes to fresh food. I don't know what, when a vegetable is fresh or when it's about to like decaying and you can't eat it. I have no idea what that looks like and what decaying it smells like. Turns I, I, just, I don't know that shit. Soft. Nine times out of 10, if a veggie's soft, it's disgusting. I don't know. Avocados yeah. is a great pork teen. I recommend having a fucking avocado. Yeah, avocados. Avocado is one of my favorite foods. Lots of fiber, heart healthy, good fats. There's a lot of good stuff in avocados. Um, any other? Well, I, I I got work in the morning, muff. So I sorry to rush it. No, I, I think we're gonna call. It. I think myself. that was a yeah, that was a final topic. I think. So um, yeah, I guess we'll call it on that. Chat. Anyone watching? People. People, I need to upload all the fucking past videos on YouTube and all that shit. I haven't done it. Um, yeah, we'll call it on that. We'll be back next week again, I think. Probably either Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. That seems to be the normal. I am in New York this. on this weekend. So Monday is probably a negative for me. I'm flying back on Monday. Right, and I could we'll do it, but I, I'd rather chill. So no, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Um, you're coming back to New York? 
I'm gonna be there for a weekend. I'm gonna chill with some friends, chill with some okay. homies, probably. Right, cool. uh, but I'm gonna rent a car because I can drive, and I'm not walking in New York, man. I might have to take the train and do one or two things, but I'm definitely taking my ass to a car. I'm renting a car, maybe twenty bucks an hour. I don't know. I mean, not an hour, but a day. I'll see. Get a zip car. If anything, zip cars aren't bad. Um, you need to sign up for a membership though, but maybe they have a uh, I need to do it in advance. Yeah. So I'm gonna just, I need to buy clothes too. So this is like things that I, I need to figure out, but we're All good. Right, well, have a safe trip and be safe walking around Yeah, I'm gonna take my COVID exam soon so I can go. I've been very safe, so I'm not worried, but, uh, it's going to be exciting, man. Definitely going to be right. seeing some old friends before the year ends. Cool. Enjoy yourself, sir. Yeah, um, it. any final words, Lou, Nettie, anything? Don't forget to bring a towel. Oh, that wasn't Don't my final to bring words. A towel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyways, uh, stream. We'll see you guys next week. I'll be back on Wednesday with probably Street Fighter Five lewd mods, and uh, some probably some Warzone and doing some Deagle stuff on shipment. So yeah, look forward to that, and we'll catch you next time. Peace the fuck out. Have a good night. Yeah. Later, later yeah. bitches. Peace. Yeah. Peace. I Bye. love y'all. Bye. Wait, I need to mute. I need to mute. Okay. Okay.